dad said to me one day, Bernie, whenever you leave school, get a job, but don't ever get a job where you wear boots. So I left school, started an apprenticeship as a car painter, boots. I went dairy farming, boots, truck driving, boots. I joined the police, boots, and then traffic management, boots again. So the one bit of advice my father gave me, I never really took any notice of it. I just can't sort of see me fitting into any other lifestyle. We normally arrive on the site first, the idea being that when the guys with their diggers and trucks or whatever turn up, they can just go straight to work. They don't have to worry about the traffic or the pedestrians. We've got that completely covered. And then when they finish at the end of the day, they pack up their gear and go home. We pack up our signage and our cones and start again the next day on the same routine. So we've, you know, first in, last out. But I mean, that just goes with the territory and just live with that. You've got to have a bit of nous, a bit of confidence, making it safe for the road to be constructed and for the public to travel through at the same time. So you've got trucks, rollers, diggers, and Nana and Granddad and their Suzuki Swift going along the same bit of road. You know, I've got friends who work in Auckland and they love it, but I couldn't sit in a box in Auckland. I remember working in Queenstown in a terrible, terrible spell of weather we had over there one year. And I was standing out there freezing cold and a lady stopped and said that she'd gone past me about five minutes ago and I looked so sad and miserable. She went up and bought a coffee for me. <laughs> so, you know, now and again, the old, the old lolly and a bit of fruit or something like that. But mostly just get a smile and a wave and that's cool. Well, it'd be nice if someone gave me a winning lotto ticket, but, you know, a chub of chops, not too bad. One hell of an office, mate. She's one hell of an office, this country. You know, the air conditioning is a bit suspect sometimes with the rain and the snow and all that sort of stuff, but the office itself is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, I've been very, very happy with the boots.